Hey everybody, welcome back to the Stafford Dynasty. Okay, let's start the second round. Although one thing I forgot to do at the end of the first round is, turn order is based on the order of how we played our last round. So what happens is you take all of these, don't rearrange them, move them over here, take all of these, don't rearrange them, and now we've got our new player order for this round which is actually very, very similar to the first round, although I'm not the last player, Jen's the last player now. Okay, and so, but anyway, I'm still the first player, so I get to go first, and what do I want to do? Do I want to be the first to grab land? Because the first to grab terrain gets an extra envoy for free, and I, if you were to flip this over for more players, it's the first two of these spaces. Or do I want to be the first to recruit some more people? And you know, the fact that there are two treasure chests built up here, I don't think I want to miss out on that. So I am going to go ahead and recruit some more family members, and I will choose this one, which means I don't get any for um, recruiting, but, oh, well, but I do get two for this bonus, plus I get a special power. Now, actually, at the end of the day, that's really no different than just coming over here, getting two, and getting this. Now, what these are, these are bonus points to be had at the end of the game, depending on how many of these brown chests you got. If you end up getting three brown chests at the end of the game, that's nine points. If you get five brown chests at the end of the game, that's 20 points. So do I want to grab that guy? Or do I just want to grab a single guy and get five points right now? That's really nice, too. Five points is a big deal. You know, I think I've, I've already got enough Envoy, so I don't think I need to grab double Envoy. I'm just going to grab a single Envoy, boop, and snag this five-pointer. So I'm up to 15 points now. Okay, so that was my first move. Now Jen gets two moves back-to-back, -back, and I think she's going to recruit again. And uh, she'll grab two, and she will get this treasure chest thing that I was eyeballing. And so she got two, so now she's got a bigger entourage of folks who can claim seats. And now Jen gets a second act, so boom, look at that. She'll get another entourage for being the first to claim a seat somewhere out there in the world. And where does she want to go? Now remember, this round, the king is going to evaluate Strasbourg, which is a long ways away. That's a, it costs one, two, three, four just to travel over there to get one of these seats. But on the flip side, there's another brown. So if Jen were to grab this seat, she'd have two of these and start working towards a big set collection of that. That's pretty attractive. Or she could grab this seat and you know get halfway towards another benefit. Now remember, one, two, three, four. It would, co it would cost me four guys to move over here to Strasbourg, but it only cost Jen one because of her king's privilege for the rest of the game. So I think Jen's going to take advantage of that. Jen is going to set herself up in Strasbourg so she can impress the king. And so instead of having to spend one, two, three, four, she only spends one in the region she's arrived in. And so she can grab this, which means she has to give up five, this giving up three, and it has to be a noble, or this giving up three. Does she want to get a noble? Does she want to get... I think she'll grab this space, which means she has to give up three. One, two, three. All right. And so she's down to three family members. She's grabbed this, and she's on her way towards a big 20-point score for getting enough of these brown treasure chests. Although, actually, interestingly, Jen didn't have to spend a three. She could use this right now and get in there for only one. But she's going to save this for a turn when she tries to grab a really expensive seat, like six guys over here in Palermo, or seven guys over here in Aachen. So she's going to save that for later. Now, she never uses, at the end of the game, every blue and purple treasure chest you didn't use is worth one point. But anyway, so Jen's grabbed over here, and she's pretty confident that she is going to be, when the king evaluates Strasbourg, she's going to be the top dog and score 10 points and get two more, what do you call them, envoys. Unless I make a big jump. But it would be expensive for me to move over here. But Jen can see, I've got a lot of envoys. I could move over there. But it's my turn now, and I think I am going to surprise Jen. I am not going to make a big move like that. I instead am actually going to set myself up here in Aachen. And I'm going to spend three guys, one, two, three, to grab this seat. Now, and this is an interesting thing. Aachen is, well, yeah, Aachen is currently not going to be evaluated. Strasbourg plus whichever region has the most people in it, which is Strasbourg, because there's two guys here, effectively, because this counts as two guys. So currently, Strasbourg is the other one that's going to be evaluated. So why am I coming here to Aachen? Well, that's fine. I don't want Aachen evaluated. I'm putting this guy into this spot because at the end of the game... Um, oh, 
shoot, shoot, shoot. Remember, remember at the beginning of the game, I talked about my perfect thing is to have a guy over here in Aachen, over here in Augsburg, because I want to be the king of Augsburg, and over here in Strasbourg. I am starting to set that up. I want this guy to stay here so he can be part of my in-game score. And in the meantime, he gives me this little bonus, which lets me claim a really expensive seat for cheap. So I'll save that for later. All right, so that was my first action. And now I'm going to claim another seat I think. Did I count right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think so. All right. I am now going to claim a seat. Ooh, let's see. One, two. Yes. In Ausberg. So it's going to cost me one, two to get to Ausberg. And then it's going to cost me all five of my remaining guys. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh yeah, no, uh, but five is the guy who's sitting in here. And so now I've got a guy in Ausberg, which I want him at the end of the game because if I am the king of Ausberg at the end of the game, I score tw uh, 12 points. Plus, I've got two guys who are f filling this pattern, so that's seven points. So I'm looking at 19 points for having placed these two things. Plus, hey, look, I got my own little uh, treasure chest that I can start collecting. Now, it's interesting. If I wanted to, instead of spending those five guys, I could have used this to get in only having to spend one guy, and so I'd still have four guys I can use in the subsequent turn. But here's the thing. At the end of this round, the king is going to move three spaces. I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When the king moves over here back to where he started, I'm going to pick up a lot of my guys who were currently exhausted by all the work they had to do, traveling around or doing all the legwork to get me installed in Ausberg. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, here's the only problem with my plan. It's really, really great that, hey, I got, this, I got these guys in. They're not going to score right now because um, at the end of the, because these aren't reaching. But eventually, Aachen and Ausberg will be scored. The king is going to be evaluating those regions. So there's a potential I'm going to lose these guys. But I've got a plan for that. Before too long, I want to pick this up, and I'm hoping to pick up another one. Because if I have this power, that means when a region is scored where I've got guys, I can play this and let the guys stay in the region. So instead of having to lose this guy, who is currently worth five points to me because he's in a five spot, and potentially 12 points to me because he's giving me majority at the end of the game, if I have this, I can keep him in that position. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it won't be very hard to pick this up next turn because I'm going to be first player. I'm going to have picked up a bunch of guys, and all I need to do is put five guys right in the spot, and I'll grab this power, and I'll pretend... Oh, but, oh, but I've got a problem. To be able to grab this spot next turn, I need a noble. I don't have any nobles. Wow, I didn't think about that. I don't have any nobles. Because I'm out. My, my turn is over. I, I put this guy and this guy. So at the beginning of the next round, my first action is going to have to be to grab a noble so that I can then grab this space. And if Jen grabs that space before I do, I'm in big trouble. Oh, dear. Things just got a bit more scary. Hmm. But you know what? I'm going to take a chance. Fingers crossed. Okay. So... Now, is there anything else that happened with all of this? Um, nope, as it is, Strasbourg is still the only region that's going to be scored because it has the most guys in it. Now, here's an interesting thing. If Jen had put an envoy in this region instead, then there's three regions that um, are tied for having the most people in it, and the tiebreaker would be all the way back over here, the one closest to the king. But since Jen put a double guy over here, Strasbourg is still going to get scored twice. Hmm... It really, it really sucks. I did not have a noble here. Because if I put a noble in here, then Aachen would be scored, and I'd be um, potentially scoring some points right now too. But instead, I'm setting myself up for an end game score. Although it's going to be kind of hard to pull off, because i got to be able to protect my guy so that the king won't steal them from me, my guy in Aachen and my guy in Osberg. So it's a bit of a gamble. But what the heck, let's go for it. I've done it, I've made all my moves, and now Jen has one more move she can make. She has three guys left, which... You know what? It, she would be pretty tempted to go on ahead and grab this space. But since I've already grabbed it, Jen cannot grab this space. So Jen has no choice. She's got to recruit people. And wow, we're going to have the exact same turn order in the next round. Okay. So Jen is going to uh, recruit some more folks. She can get two guys and a special power, or she can get one noble and a special power. <sighs> I think she's going to come over here. So she's going to get one noble and this special power. So now she can get into two expensive seats cheaply at some point later in the game. So that's it. We're, we're all done with all our actions. 
And now we're going to score Strasburg. Jen get, wins it, and I don't even come in second. Jen gets 10 points. So just like that, she's caught up to me. So, um, I didn't get four for second. Plus, Jen gets two envoys for coming in first place. So now Jen's got a nice little collection of folks, and I'm the one who's completely broke. This is a really big gamble I'm taking. I hope it pays off. Very scary. All right, <clears throat> so Jen won Strasburg. The place with the max, that's also over here, but we can't score Strasburg a second time, so we're done with that. And now, all right, so these are both done. And now the king says, bring me all the people I evaluated. I want them. So Jen loses this guy off the board. New treasures come out, and it's going to be two treasures in Stras or three treasures in Strasburg. Another one of these bonuses. A two pick up two guys bonus and four points. Oh, this is a very nice seat now. Four points and a privilege. Okay. And also we got to put new treasures out here. So we get another privilege opportunity. A um, now this is when you use this, you can move anywhere you want on the board for free. You don't have to spend any people, you can move wherever you want. But it's a one-time thing. And uh, another privilege. And a third thing comes out here. Oh my gosh, look at this. So there's a privilege, two guys, and a, gra um, a special power. Okay. And we reset the board, and now we are on to round number three. Aachen is going to be evaluated, plus, interestingly, wherever the king is. So Aachen is the only region that's going to be evaluated this turn, and I already have a foothold in Aachen, although it's the worst one. If Jen takes either of these spaces, she'll win, and that's nine points for her, but I'll get four for second place, and both of us will get a treasure chest. So Aachen is the only place that's going to be evaluated this turn. Okay, so, and I am first, and I have nobody I literally, I used, oh, 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 one more thing, one more thing, I'm sorry. Oh, whoops, dur, 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 I forgot, one more thing. The treasure chest came out, and then the king moved three spaces, very important. One, two, three, so that just gave both Jen and me a bunch of family members back. One, two, three, so I'm back swimming in envoys, and Jen's got some envoys as well, and Jen's got one noble, while I have no nobles. So that's it. Now we start the next round. And remember, Aachen gets evaluated and back here in um, the Netherlands where the king is. So these are the two regions that are going to be evaluated. I am the first player. And man, 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 man. This is really a bummer. See, I, I need to get this, but I cannot get this unless I have a noble to put there. So the first thing I need to do is come over here and I want to grab this big, look at all this treasure that has appeared here. Uh, you know, uh, but I need that noble bad. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab this and get myself the noble I need. And, oops, and I now, I'm almost, ha I'm halfway towards getting a privilege of my own. And privileges are so powerful. All right, so, and now Jen gets to go twice. <coughs> See, and I haven't really been thinking about what Jen wants to, right. So at the end of the game, she wants to be the master of Palermo. She just um, gets points for every guy on the board she has. The more she has, the more points. And she wants to have this thing of having points opposite each other. Those are her end game goals. Right, so where does Jen want to go? Now she could uh, just jump right over here into the Netherlands. Um, and you know, this is just as attractive to her so that she can protect somebody at the end of the game. She gets to do two actions. So I think the first action she's going to do is she's going to grab this that's built up so much. So, oh wow. Okay, so first of all, she gets this, which is two more envoys. So look at this big fan. All right, she gets this power she can use later. And this power is when you, whenever you um, recruit people, you can pick whichever of these you want and whichever treasure chest. So if you like want two guys, but you want the treasure that's over here, you can mix and match. So Jen will grab that. And she just grabbed herself another what do you call it? Um, privilege. And so Jen was thinking she wants this, but oh, if she grabs this space, she can get another privilege and have another power that will last her for the rest of the game. Or just eight points. Yeah. As much as Jen wants this, I think she wants that privilege even more. But you know, instead of grabbing this space and getting that privilege, she could grab this space over here in Strasbourg and get four points and a privilege. Woo, doggy. Okay, well her next move is definitely going to be to grab a seat someplace, which gives her yet another envoy. Wow, okay. So where does Jen want to go? Now she could spend, all right, remember she also can grab expensive seats for free. 
So me, I'd have to give up five guys to grab this seat. Jen can just get in there with only one guy and grab this. And then she could do another move and grab this over here and get the privilege she wants. Wowzer, wow, wow, wow. Okay, what is Jen going to do? Let's move all our guys over here. Okay, so is... Okay, so as Jen's little fiefdom, here is mine. Whew. Does she want that? Does she want the privilege? Because here's the other thing too. Jen can see I've got a privilege. And Jen, I might very well go for this or this really quick. And if Jen wants to get another privilege really cheap, she figures maybe she should grab it while she can. I think, I think she will. I think she does value that. So, Jen is going to set herself up in the Netherlands, but she's going to take this one. So, it takes three guys to fill that space. And so Jen's going to go one, two, three. And she's going to get this, and then she's going to turn them in, and boom, she's got another privilege. Uh, oh, see, now this is a real pain. She loved this one. If she takes this one, this is three points. Every time she p takes a seat in the region where the king is, Jen could still grab this really cheaply and get three more points for having that power. Or Jen could be better at recruiting people. Or, remember, now this is still worth, um, this is worth nine points. If Jen scores it, or you know, actually, Jen's getting to the point where she might score first place in multiple rounds, so this could be worth a lot of points. Or Jen could just grab eight points, just like that, and really solidify her lead. Although, I mean, you know, there's... Um, right. So what is Jen going to do? She gets a privilege, or she makes it... Um, you know, right now she can get into two places for one, but with this... Well, that's really interesting. Right, uh, th this is a permanent ability of getting to any place with, with a $1 discount. She already has two of those, so I think she's happy with that. Does she want the big points, the potentially nine points, or ma maybe even 12 if she does really well, the guaranteed eight points, the better recruitment, or the lots of points for wherever the king is? She's got a lot of guys right now, and she's picking up more. She, um, let's see, the king is going to move two spaces, so Jen knows she's going to pick up four more guys next round. So I don't think she's worried about recruiting a lot of dudes. I think she likes this. She's going to, she thought about it at the beginning of the game when it was worth 15 points. It's still worth nine, maybe 12 points to her. So she's going to take that. Okay. So that was her move. Now I get to make a move and I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. Phew. And now, and see, the interesting thing is Jen, you know, she wanted this, but she was hoping she'd still be able to get it later. But I'm going to grab it. I'm going to jump right in there. It would cost me five guys, but instead I'm going to use this thing, which lets me get it for free. And boom, I got the thing I needed. Whew. And now I'm in the lead on this, so I'm going to score seven points to three. Now Jen can still win this region if she wants, because she's got a noble. If she puts a noble in this space, then she's got three to my two, and she'll still win the region. And she'll get a thing that lets her basically move around totally for free. Although that's not the greatest power for her, because she already gets to move around at a discount. So does she want to grab that space? Now, what was the other place? Oh, Aachen was the other place. Or does she want to get over here to Aachen? Now, Jen definitely wants to come in first place. Remember, in a two-player game, second and third place don't matter on this card. Jen definitely wants to come in first place so she can get those um, three bonus points. And currently, I am going to win Aachen. Why is Aachen? Oh, be, oh, wait, oh. right, because Aachen is being evaluated. Currently, I'm going to win Aachen and... Um, I'm going to win Aachen and because I'm in the lead over here and I'm in the lead over there because I'm the only one over there. So which one does Jen care about more? She can get over to Aachen really easily or she can grab this space. But you know what? I think she likes the uh, benefits over here a little bit more. Although it's more expensive to get. I mean, she'd like just to get three points plus nine for coming in first in Aachen. Plus a treasure chest. We draw treasure chests equal to the number of players, and then Jen would get first choice if she's the winner over in this region. Um, or another potential privilege. Getting two more privileges, that gets her eight more points. Right. <coughs> Let's see here. Although, wait a minute. Although that's all coming in the future, right? No, no, no. All right, because Jen has already claimed her first. So I just went, I grabbed that space, I did everything, and so I get to go again. And I've still got a bunch of guys. Where do I want to go now? Hmm. All right, I was thinking about Jen, but I need to think about myself because I am next in turn order. Let's see. Um, so I could just go on ahead and grab this space, which is good for me 
because then I'd get another way to move around cheaply. Hmm. Or I could recruit more family members so I could move around cheaply. Or I could get, um, ooh, yeah. I think, I think my last move is I'm just going to recruit some more family members. And I'm going to get a single envoy. But I get this. And hey, look at this now. I get a privilege. So I'm giving up two points. Because remember, these are two points at the end of the game to get a different privilege. Now, which privilege do I want? The um, shack up wherever the king is. The See, where's the king going to be? Next round, he's going to be in Milan. Then he's going to be in Palermo. Right, is that right? Yes, he's going to be in Milan and Palermo. So, do I want to set myself up? I don't want to set myself up in either Palan or Palermo. So, that's not particularly exciting to me for the future. Um, recruiting more guys, getting cheaper to get into regions, that's pretty important to me because I still got lots of regions I want to get in and I don't have a lot of discounts for that. So I will take this. Or, do I just want to take eight points? I think I'm just going to take eight points. I don't want to, I don't want to miss that. So I'm just going to grab the big eight. So I just went from 15 to 23. Okay, so I'll just grab that. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now it's my last turn and now it's Jen's last turn. She could recruit some more folks, but she's still got plenty. She's going to grab another region. Does she want to get majority over here? That would get her another guy and seven points. Or majority over here, which would get nine plus a treasure. I think she wants to be over there instead. So Jen is going to use her special power to move. And it's only going to cost her one to move all the way over here. That is so nice. That privilege is really working out for her. And does she want to grab this space for four or this place for seven? Well, I think she'll use the big trade-in one. And, um, right, so it's only going to cost her one to get in. And she will put her noble over here. And that just scored her three points. One, two, three. And Jen took the lead in Aachen. All right, so that's it. We're all done. And so now the king evaluates Aachen. Jen is in the lead. She scores nine points. And I'm going to score four for second place. One, two, three, four. And uh, let's see. Eight, nine, and we both round robin. You can see there's all these little blue and red ribbons you have because you will round robin this game several times. Um, but anyway, so we're all tied up. Jen's only one point behind me, and um, so we draw two. We draw a treasure chest equal to number of players, and Jen gets first dibs on them, and I take whatever else there is. So what do we get? The treasure chests here are another free placement and a free movement. Jen doesn't care about free movement because she already has cheap movement. She'll take the free placement, which leaves me the free movement. So now I've got two free movements. Okay, so that was that. And both of these guys, well now Jen loses this guy and I've got a choice. Am I gonna save this guy? Because I can save him now, so he'll score at the end of the game. <sighs> nope. I'm not going to use this power here because I want to save this guy because this guy's worth more points to me. So I lost that guy to the king. Um, he was going to be, but you know, say eh, Okay. So um, we've resolved Aachen. Oh, we also had to resolve, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the Netherlands because that's where the king is. And I win in the Netherlands. I get seven points. Jen gets three points. And I'm the only one. So I, I'm in first place. So I get that. So I get seven to three. Um, so I'm up to nine and Jen is one, two, three. So once again, I'm five points or so in the lead. And so that was that region. And both of these guys, the king goes on ahead and takes them from us because he loves them because they've done such a good job running that region. All right. So uh, everybody's been recovered. And now, so it's, it's actually after everyone's scoring, then everybody gets recovered. Now we put new treasure chests out and the king moves two spaces. So we need new treasure chests in the Netherlands. Another one of those, install yourself for free. A, ooh, uh, another privilege. Although the privileges are starting to dry up. And another privilege. And over here, we've got a privilege, two privileges. Although, I mean, heck, if you even don't like the privileges, remember, there are, they are just worth victory points. One victory point per purple at the end of the game. All right, and we got to put new treasures out here. So that's really weird. The double envoy is um, not getting love. Ooh, there's another brown. Those brown, I mean, you know, getting five of those is worth 20 points. So we've both kind of taken a break from those, but, you know, there's a lot of attractiveness over there. Everything slides up, and still I am the first player because I've started pretty much every round always recruiting. If um, I want, though, if I make my first action be to get an extra envoy and do a placement right off the bat, then that gives Jen finally the chance to be the first player in the next round. But anyway, so we're all set up. Oh, wait, no, but the last thing, the king moves to... One, two, which gives me two guys back and gives Jen four guys back. 
Boom. All right. And what does the king care about? The king is going to be evaluating Ausberg, which is, this is the this is the time I'm going to save my guy over there. Currently, I'm in the lead on Ausberg. Um, all right. And whichever area has the most people in it, which currently, although it's subject to change, currently is Ausberg. All right. And I'm the first player. And now here's the interesting thing. As the first player, I could go on ahead and claim a space. And I probably want to claim this space. Because if not, Jen will get over here, and oh, um, you know, Jen will get over here, and um, if, she, if she will come in with a noble, sorry, I just had a cold brain freeze. She'll come in with a noble, and she'll get the majority. She'll get eight points to my three and get first dibs on a treasure chest. So I've got first dibs. So I think I am going to go ahead and claim a space, which gives me another envoy. And I still have no nobles, <gasps> but that's the problem. So I would like to grab this space, but I have no nobles. All I've got is envoys because I have not been recruiting nobles. Oh my gosh. Shoot. And if I instead, once again, recruit so I can get a noble and get two points or get a, tr um, well, actually that's the only way I'd have to recruit a noble to get two points. Jen, Jen doesn't have nobles either. Oh, she, all she's got is envoys. So that is a much more interesting choice. Do I? Grab this noble so I can grab this space and guarantee scoring in Ausberg. Or, because I can get over there cheap, although it would cost me four guys to get in, because I, um, I don't get in cheap, and it would get me half of a prestige. Hmm, or, you can see why this is such a nice one, because this is every time you go and recruit something, you get an extra guy. So coming over here to get a noble, you can also get an extra guy. So, uh, uh, let's see. So I can't claim that space. Now, what is the other place that's being, um, right, so Ausberg is being evaluated, and whatever place has the most guys in it at the end of the round. Hmm. So I did not take the thing that would be benefit me for trying to set myself up in the region that the king is in. But I also need to think about what region, what bonuses do I want to get? I might want to come here anyway just to get, oh look, I can get a noble this way. Ooh, that's very nice. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up right where the king is. So that's going to cost me three guys. One, two, three. But I get my noble. Now I don't have to come over here to get the noble. I get a noble immediately. So I'll be able to grab that space. And I also get my second treasure chest. So now that I've got two of them. I've gone from two points to five points. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, <clears throat> so that was my first move. Boop. Okay, and so now Jen's move. What does she want to do? Oh my gosh, so many options. Also, the interesting thing too is if Jen goes to recruit, she can take whichever option she wants, plus she can take whichever treasure chest. So she could get the, this, but then she could grab these. And I think she wants to grab some more brown. So I think Jen is going to recruit, and she's going to use this. She's going to recruit a noble, because she, like me, is out of nobles. But she will take this treasure. So now Jen's gone from 5 points to 9 points, and she's getting closer and closer to the big 2-0. All right, so Jen did that. Now it's my turn again. And where do I want to go? All right, okay, I'm going to go on ahead and claim again, and I'm going to jump over here to Ausberg. Because uh, Jen's got a noble too, so she could grab this space now instead of me. But I'm going to get there first. And I'm going to use one of my free movements, so it doesn't cost me anything to move from Milan to Augsburg. And it's going to cost me four guys and my only noble to get in there, so I'm having to give up. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Okay. And so I made it. So I'm totally going to win this uh, scoring area. Right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now it's Jen's turn again. She's got an action. I've got one more, and then she's got two more. So what is Jen going to do? Now, there are effectively three guys in this region. If Jen wanted to change the scoring parameters, you know, if she put, like, three guys down in this region, you know, if she put, like, her noble, say, down here, not only, um, you know, she, th then these two regions would be tied, and the tiebreaker would be here. So this would become a scoring region where Jen would score, oops, this is upside down, Jen would score six points plus two more points. So Jen would get eight points, plus, oh wow, she could get another, and she doesn't even have to use a noble. Since she missed her shot there, I think Jen is going to, so Jen could come here, use one of her get in for freeze, get this, and then she's jumped from nine points to 14 points, because she's got another brown, and although, 
Oh yeah, and, and if she made it her noble, then this would be the area with the most places, so Jem would get eight points for scoring this. So that's pretty tempting. But her other option, her other option is to start thinking about her end game. Because Jen wants to have guys in Palermo, she wants to have majority in Palermo at the end of the game to score 12 points, just like I want majority in Augsburg. Jen also wants to have guys opposite. So if Jen has a guy in Palermo, she wants a guy at the end of the game over here in Strasbourg as well. So that she can score, or if she has two guys in Palermo, she wants two guys in Strasbourg, so she could score this twice, 14 points. And she also just wants to have guys on the board because, um, you know, me, I've got the target of trying to get guys into number five spaces. Jen, just guys in any space. So, does Jen want to do this knowing that she'll put a guy here, she'll score eight points, but the guy will get taken by the king? Or does Jen want to go on ahead and start setting up her endgame? Getting a guy over here in Palermo um, so she can, I mean, it won't score anything, but it means... It's 12 points at the end of the game if she controls Palermo. Hmm. Let's see here. And that, what's the king going to do? The king's going to move 1-2. He's going to be in Palermo in the final round. And in the final round, nobody gets removed from the board. So Jen won't lose her guys in Palermo. And then from there, she could get over here to Strasbourg so she could get these two guys and she could get guys on the board. So does she want to go for this or does she want to start chasing in-game bonus points really hard? As much as she wants to do that, I, I think she can't turn it down. She is going to move into here. She's going to use one of her freebies. And so that was her move. And now I've got one more move. I've got four guys. Interestingly, I've got, I could almost come in here, but I mean, but I don't have a noble. So what am I going to do with my last move? Um, I can move wherever I want. And what do I want to do? I, I see. I think I'm going to make my last turn. I am going to install somebody else somewhere on the board. So I, I, I haven't recruited anybody this turn. It's just an all installing. And see, I've got three guys, but I can move anywhere I want for free. But I want to get guys into number five spots. Four guys are not going to let me get into a number five spot any place. So I can get into a number four spot, which if I do over here. Then um, this is creating the end game thing I want. Plus, I could get another privilege right away. That's not bad. Yeah, I think so. I think I am going to, I, I used my movement to move wherever I wanted. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pay full price. One guy and then here's three more I had to pay. So they go one, two, three. Oh, wait, oh yeah, and it was this face. So I get these two, which I'm going to trade in immediately and get another privilege, which will be four points. Okay, so there we go. So I just snagged four more points. One, two, three, four. All right. That was my last move. Now Jen has one more move. I assume she's going to install somebody someplace because she certainly got. She doesn't need to recruit anybody else. <clears throat> Although, yeah, she if she were to recruit, she could go on ahead and just grab this, and she'd be at fourteen points. Let's see. Is there? So Jen cannot. Oh yeah, Jen could grab this space, but she's already in the majority. She doesn't need to grab any more. She does need to get herself set up in Palermo. I think her last move is going to be, it only costs her one to move to Palermo because of her special power. She's really gotten a lot of use of that over the course of the game. Although, oh, here's a problem. I didn't, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, move to Palermo. And which space is Jen going to take? Does she want one more guy? Um, what, another privilege? I think she'll, but this is the most expensive one. It costs six to get into that space. But you know what? What the heck? Jen will, oh, no, but she can't because, again, she has given up. So she cannot get into that spot because she does not have a noble. So Jen can get another privilege. The interesting thing too about if Jen were to grab this privilege, which is three points, then because the king's going to end in Palermo, that and if Jen were to put stuff in Palermo at the end of the game, she'd be getting three points. So she doesn't want to go to Palermo right now. After all, she wants to wait until the end of the game. But she does. Right, but I mean, she'd only be getting one privilege. How could she get two? Where could she go? What are the other options that are out here? Here's four points and a privilege just sitting right here in Strasbourg. Oh, that's right. Jen wants to be in Palermo, but she wants to be opposite Palermo as well. That's what Jen's going to do. She's going to pay her one, not to move to Palermo, but over here to Strasbourg. And then she's going to set herself up in Strasbourg. It's only going to cost one, two, three guys. And she gets four points and half a privilege. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
And so, boom, there she is. And, I mean, Strasburg is not going to score again. So this guy is in place for the end of the game. And he's opposite Palermo, so that's seven points. Plus, he's a guy who, at the end of the game, is going to be worth at least two points. So Jen's happy with that. All right, so we've both done all our moves. And now we, uh, once again, evaluate. Ausberg. Ausberg, Ausberg, Ausberg. I, okay, all right, me. I win it. Um, and so I get eight points, and I get to draw two, keep one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw two, and keep one. So, which of these treasures do I want? Uh, free movement or a privilege? <clears throat> I think I'll take. I think I'll take the free movement. All right. So that's that. And so Osberg is scored, and. Now is the moment where these guys want to get pulled away from the king. And I say, yeah, go ahead, take my noble. But you'll never take my envoy because he needs to stay here because he's in the number five spot. And I want to control Osberg at the end of the game. So that was the big moment. All right. And so that's Osberg. The other place to score is the place with the um, most people in it. Oh, but I keep forgetting. I don't do that until afterwards. So I have not saved that guy yet. Um, but I'll worry about that in a second. So uh, the other place was the most people in it, which is here. Jen is in the lead here, so she gets six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Jen scores 11 points, putting her at 17. And so these guys both get summoned. There's nobody to protect them. These guy, this guy stays because I protected him. Okay, and so that's it for evaluating. We summoned everybody, new treasure chests come out, and the king moves two spaces. New treasure chests come out, so here and here. So. One, two, three, and one, two. Okay. And then the king moves. One, two. That gives me five guys, which is good because I didn't have any. And that gives Jen three guys, but she already had a bunch. Reset the turn order. Jen is first. And we are into the last round where Palermo is going to get scored. And whoever, whichever space has the fewest chests. There's three over here, three over here, two over here in Aachen. So currently, I think Aachen is the winner of fewest chests because there's a whole bunch over here. Crazy amount. Uh, all right, so there we go. So those are the two places. Um, Jen is first. She definitely wants to get herself established in Palermo. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so right off the bat. Oh no, but if Jen, Jen wants to grab this because she's gonna, right, so she, Jen wants to get someplace else. This is gonna be the second place she goes. She's got enough guys plus her free movement. She's probably gonna put out three guys on the board because at the end of the game, they, the king won't take them. So everybody you put out in the final round stays. And Jen wants to be in Palermo, she wants to be opposite Palermo, and she just wants to be in as many places as possible. She also wants to get the privilege, so she'll get three bonus points when she sets herself up in Palermo. Um, let's see, are there any other bonuses lying around the board? She also would like to get some more brown guys because they, the more, you know, that's getting closer and closer to 20 points. Jen just needs two more to get the 20 points. I don't think Jen's going to recruit anybody. Oops, I forgot to put treasure chests in the recruitment phase where I don't think they're going to be grabbed because, well, actually, I might have to grab some. We'll see. Oh, now this is an issue. Well, that doesn't matter now. It's the end of the game, so it's too late for that one to be particularly valuable. So where does Jen want to go? Well, first of all, she's going to move first. That'll get her another envoy. She cannot move into any noble spaces. Hmm. She could just come over here to Milan. The two most valuable places for her are Strasbourg and Palermo, though, because the more guys she puts opposite each other, the more times this will fire at the end of the game. This is, oh, and this, she comes over here, she gets a free placement someplace and a noble. So that's pretty good. I think she likes that. Yeah, I think so. But, oh, but she needs to get her other purple so that she can score more points. So, where would she go for purple? This would be a free movement of purple. She doesn't care about that. This is three points in a purple. That's pretty attractive. Here's a purple and a free installation. She already has one free installation. Here's a brown. Oh, if there were a brown and a purple, that would be perfect for her, but there is not. But... You know what? I think I'm going to stop right there. I know people hate it when I don't finish. There's only one round left. It's so close. There's only three actions. But, you know, this is going to be the biggest, toughest round because Jen's got a whole bunch of stuff she's trying to do. She's trying to get this 
So you know, she converts this. Right now, this is worth one point. She gets another one and converts into this and comes over to Palermo. That you know turns one point into three point. If she can do that while also picking up some browns, so she gets closer and closer to the big twenty. I want to pick up browns too. Um, I also want to get into more five spaces, but I do not have a free, easy way to get in. I got to pay to get into my five spaces, and I've only got five guys. I'm only going to be able to place one guy. Because I can, let's see, what do I have? I've got my free movement. I could get over here into Strasbourg, get this five space, but where do I want to be? All right, so these guys are off teaser. Oh yeah, I definitely, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to take this five space because then um, this will trigger um, three times. I'll be in the king of uh, Strasbourg and I'll have taken two five spaces. That's a lot of bonus points. Here's a really scary thing though. If Jen figures out how important Strasbourg is to me, if she were to come over here, get a noble, and then come over here and grab this space, suddenly I'm not the king of Strasbourg and I'll only get six points instead of 12 points because I'll come in second. But Jen's got her own thing she's trying to pursue instead. Mm, wow. What should Jen do? What should Jen do? There's no purples over here. The only purple... Ah. <clears throat> she does like getting this noble, though. But I know to me, I'm terrified. If she takes this, that's the perfect place for me. That's the space I really want. Over here, it gives her two more little guys she could place, but she can't get into that because she doesn't have a noble. If she's gonna place, if she's gonna place three times, that's one, two, and then something else over here. Right, one, two, three means she'd get six points for placing in Palermo twice. Can she place in Palermo twice? She needs eight guys to grab this five and this three because she doesn't have any. No. She needs only three because she can place once in here for free. So she needs three guys to grab that space, one guy to grab that space, and that's six points for taking those after she gets the privilege. And then she would um, want to get another space over here. She'd need five more guys, which she has, so she can do it, I think. But one, two, three. But that means she wouldn't be getting the privilege, so she wouldn't be getting the points. So she want to give up? Ah, yeah, this is just too much to think about. I'm sorry, folks. Um, I could probably grind on this a little bit more, but I'm going to stop right there because I think you have a pretty good idea of what Stafford Dynasty is all about. If you'd like to hear some final thoughts now, you can do the little eye up in the top right corner of the screen in five, four, three, two, one.